It is 649. This is your morning in eight minutes. Today we should learn if the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates. Yeah, analysts predict this rate hike could make history today. Some think the Fed will raise interest rates by the usual three quarters of a point to three percent, or they might go as far as raising it one full percentage point. The central bank kicked off its two day meeting yesterday, scheduled to announce its decision later this afternoon. Stocks on Wall Street slid at the closing bell as some investors are growing anxious about what's to come today. But what does this all mean for you? Interest rate hikes make borrowing money more expensive. Your credit card rates will go up, so you'll pay more if you don't pay them off each month. New mortgages will go up as well. Right now, the current rate would add about $520 a month on a $300,000 loan. We're following new details this morning. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will be in Knoxville today. He's speaking at a luncheon at Copper Cellar on Kingston Pike, but the event is private to the public and the media. Well, right now, an inmate inside the Hamblin County Jail is alive this morning thanks to the quick actions by jail staff. Officer Cassie Bell says she heard screaming coming from inside one of the cells. She and another officer found a woman overdosing. Both started CPR and they called out a nurse who had Narcan. They gave that to the woman, saving her life. The sheriff says they're now working to add a full body scanner that uses X-ray technology to see if any inmate has drugs hidden inside their body. He says they should have it next week. The sheriff is now honoring both of those officers. A court date now set for a man accused of sexual battery on a church playground. Police say David Edmondson touched a woman inappropriately then touched himself. This happened at Central Baptist Church in Fountain City on Sunday. Officers found him lying on the playground. He was arrested on the spot. He's due back in court next Monday for a bond hearing. In continuing coverage this morning, we're learning more about the Maryville man accused in a deadly road rage crash on Alcoa Highway. According to police records, Derek Geary has a criminal history. In March, police arrested him after they say he rammed a co-worker's truck. According to a report, he quit ABJ Custom powder coating in Louisville, then crashed into his co-workers pickup and took off. On Saturday, police say he crossed two lanes of traffic on Alcoa Highway to hit another car. The driver, William Carroll, died in that crash. Police say Geary had three children in his Jeep at the time. They were all treated at a local hospital. And two people are facing charges this morning after a car crash chase leads to a drug bust. KPD says they tried to stop Lucky Clark along Dry Gap Road for tinted windows on Monday. Well, he took off crashing into another car. He then ran away and was picked up by Sky Miller and another vehicle. The two were eventually stopped by police. KPD says they found drugs in Clark's car with, along with nearly $2,000 in cash. They're both facing multiple charges. And this morning, Lovell Road is clear after a major traffic headache. Rural Metro says a car caught fire on the interstate yesterday. Thankfully, no one's hurt. The department is thanking everyone who slowed down while they worked to put out those flames. And the third suspect accused in a Claiborne County murder case is now being ordered to take a mental evaluation before appearing in court. Jimmy Lee Riff is due back in court on November 7th for the murder of Aaron Massengill. This comes after the second suspect, Patrick Smith, pled guilty to second degree murder. He's headed to prison for 45 years, according to the DA's office. Another suspect in the case, Courtney Gilpin, now serving a 50 year sentence after pleading guilty as well. Well, right now, Hurricane Fiona is being blamed for at least four deaths in Puerto Rico and another two in the Dominican Republic. The governor there expects power and running water to be back sometime soon, but not for everybody. Now crews from the U.S. Coast Guard are assessing the damage. The U.S. State Department is issuing a travel advisory for anyone considering going to Bermuda as the storm approaches. And the Food and Drug Administration says its response to the baby formula shortage was slowed by delays in processing a whistleblower complaint. A formal report outlined factors that led to the shortage based on dozens of interviews with employees. The agency needs more modern technology and staff to handle more than one incident at a time. President Biden will address the United Nations General Assembly today where he's expected to push for unity in support of Ukraine and climate action. He'll likely also call on world leaders to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons and counter the military rise of China. WVLT, proud to be your official station of the Vols. We're just three days away from Tennessee and Florida, squaring off inside Neyland Stadium. Tonight, you can ask all your burning questions ahead of this week's game at Vol Calls. The Vol Network crew, along with head coach Josh Heupel, will be at Calhoun's on the River. Everything starts around 8 o'clock. You can listen to it on 107.7 WIVK and 99.1 The Sports Animal. And this Saturday, we hope you join us as we get you set for kickoff. Myself, Casey, and Heather, along with the rest of the WVLT team, will be on campus for the Big Orange Kickoff Show. You can watch it starting at 10 o'clock, going until 1.30. 
Kickoff is at 3 o'clock, 3.30. You can watch the game right here on WVLT. We checked tickets this morning. They are still pretty expensive in the 200 plus range. I'm a little nervous. Can I borrow $200? No. Right now, <laughs> what's better than a great view of the East Tennessee sunrise? The Gallenberg Skylift Park giving you the chance to see it from the top of a mountain. Every Wednesday, weather permitting, they're letting you in early for the special viewing. Take a look at Cruiser there this morning. It's a beautiful Ooh. way to wake up. You can see that sun rising over the mountain there. You can take a ride from the Skylift to Crockett Mountain. Tickets are limited each week, so if you do want to get these, they do cut that off on Mondays. But we're going to, our Jared Austin, we're just letting him soak it in this morning as you are <laughs> as well at home and we're going to talk to him on WBXX. It is 654. Let's get to Whitney Turner. She's got your first alert traffic. Heads up if you are traveling through Sevier County today that routine maintenance picks up on the spur in just a few moments starting at 7 o'clock going until 4 o'clock today could run into some single lane closures slowing you down between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg today. But right now those interstates and main roads are on time ahead of that morning rush. I want to show you a live look at that traffic flow. This is I-40 right at I-275. Starting to get a little bit busy out there, but all lanes are open, moving without delay. 65 now might be distracted by the beauty of that orange glow on the horizon this morning with sunrise officially about 30 minutes out as we kick off the day here on a nice mild note. Just remember it's getting hotter today before a cold front moves in. Now the rainfall itself still looking spotty. You can see that dropping through quickly tomorrow, but at least that's when the winds will start picking up and that'll be moving down some more mild conditions. So again, winds go up, temperatures come down, becoming breezy starting later tomorrow, especially and keep it going on into the weekend with the second front still on the way. So I'm going to track all that out for you coming up on the CW. Right now there's that beautiful glow, a few passing clouds off to a great start. Now some of you are having a little more trouble seeing that with some more fog along Watts Bar as well as up through Anderson County to the Tennessee Kentucky line. We share at least temperatures closer to normal. As I mentioned, that fog would knock the temperatures around. Knoxville just went back up a few degrees. Now 65, 56 though, Sneedville to 62 in Huntsville. So as we go through your day today, take a look at your planner. So it's 65 now, a few degrees off off from normal. It's 82 at noon. That's already right around the normal high. High today is aimed at 92. Hotter, muggy, but at least we have two cold fronts to track for you. One tomorrow, bring down that heat. Second one Sunday, bring in some better rain chances as well. So I got you covered coming up on the CW.